Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's a semi-final match with Boston Latin School taking on North Quincy High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in January, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our virtual Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's tournament, and there are now four teams left attempting to win it all. In today's match, we have the defending champions, Boston Latin School, taking on North Quincy High School. And on the Boston Latin team, we have Ethan. How you doing there, Ethan? I'm good. I'm a little tired, but I'm hyped. Okay. Well, first of all, welcome to the semifinals and congratulations. Kyler, how you doing? We're in the semis now, buddy. Yeah, I'm pumped up for it. Pumped up. Lucas, how about you? How you feeling? Great. Good to be here. <laughs> all right. Alice? Um, I feel great. All right. So again, welcome to the semifinals. Unbelievable. Uh, the alternates, Luisa and Mira, are on the sidelines, along with coaches Andy Zhao and Teresa Kojon. For North Quincy High, we have Caitlin. How are you doing, Caitlin? I'm fantastic. Ready uh, for the semis. Well, congratulations to you. It's not easy getting to the semifinals. Jenny, how are you feeling about this? Uh, feeling good. I'm ready for the semis. Ready to go, John Thomas. I'm excited. All right. And finally, Dominique, you feeling good about this? Feeling awesome. All right. And uh, the alternate on the sidelines is Vin. And the coaches are Mira Cruz, Danielle Fernandez, and Peggy Fowler. <laughs> So the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will start with a toss-up round. All players on both teams are active and, with a correct answer, can each contribute 10 points per question to their team score. In this round, there are no point deductions for wrong answers. A green light indicates a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer has been provided within the three seconds granted. So teams, if you are ready, good luck. Nine of the 10 highest mountains on earth are found in what mountain range? The Rockies, the Alps, or the Himalayas? The Himalayas. What original poem did National Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman read at Joe Biden's presidential inauguration? Uh, the Gift Outright of History and Hope or The Hill We Climb? The Hill We Climb. What chemical element is also known as quicksilver, phosphorus, sulfur, or mercury? Mercury is the answer. Unleavened bread called matzah is eaten during the Seder, a feast associated with what Jewish holiday, Passover, Hanukkah, or Rosh Hashanah? Passover is the answer. Take a look at your screens. In 1939, after the daughters of the American Revolution denied her access to Constitution Hall because of her race, what famous singer, seen here, gave a free concert in front of 75,000 people at the Lincoln Memorial. Was it Billie Holiday, Mahalia Jackson, or Marian Anderson? 
Marian Anderson, famous for roles including Emma Peel in The Avengers and Olena Tyrell in Game of Thrones. What legendary British actress passed away in 2020 at the age of 82? Judy Dench, Claire Bloom, or Diana Rigg? Diana Rigg. What Oscar Wilde character remains forever young while his portrait ages and decays? Jack Worthing, Dorian Gray, or Robert Chiltern? Dorian Gray. NASA's Saturn V was the most powerful rocket ever built. It was designed under the direction of what former Nazi German rocket scientist who worked for the U.S. after World War II? Was it Walter Schreiber, Arthur Rudolph, or Werner von Braun? Werner von Braun, the answer. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, it destroyed Pompeii and what other city? Was it Salerno, Herculaneum, or Naples? Herculaneum is the answer. Now take a look at the screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Sinead Onyx, songwriter, actress, and YouTuber from Onyx Family. Here's my question. The third episode of our animated series, Onyx Monster Mysteries, features the Yeti, a monstrous creature from Himalayan folklore. In 1960, what famous explorer from New Zealand went to Nepal to search for the Yeti? Is it Edmund Hillary, George Mallory, or Ernest Shackleton? Edmund Hillary is the answer, and we move on. What top-seeded player was disqualified from the 2020 U.S. Open after unintentionally hitting a line judge with a tennis ball. Was it Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, or Serena Williams? Novak Djokovic, the answer. In the classical mythology, what female spirits of justice and vengeance were known for punishing evildoers by driving them mad? Was it the Gorgons, the Furies, or the Fates? The Furies. Uh, number 106 on the periodic table in 1994, what became the first element to be named after a living scientist? Was it Cyborgium, Oganison, or Mitnerium? Cyborgium is the answer. Best known for breaking Babe Ruth's home run record in 1974, what baseball Hall of Famer passed away in 2021 at the age of 86? Was it Sandy Koufax, Willie Mays, or Hank Aaron? <laughs> Hank Aaron is the answer. Math question, how many zeros are in a Google? Is it 10, 100, or 1,000? One hundred is the answer. And that's the end of the toss-up round. The score right now, Boston Latin School, 440 points. North Quincy High School, 350 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. But first, we're going to take a few minutes to get to know the players a little bit better. I have a question, each of you can answer the question, and here it comes. We'll start with you, Boston Latin School. What are your plans for life after high school? Ethan, how about it? Uh, well, last year on the show, I said I'd be declaring for the NBA draft, and I'm a man of my word, so now that I'm a senior, I'm going to stick with my plan. Good for you. Get any calls yet, Ethan? Uh, no, not yet, not yet, but they're coming. Uh, how about you, Kyler? Well, I'm only a sophomore right now, so it's hard to know, but after college, I'm thinking maybe going to law school. Good for you. Lucas? Um, I'd like to go to college, travel, and then eventually I want to write novels. Nice. Alice, how about you? After high school? Um, after high school and after college, I hope to pursue a degree in statistics and go into a career in data science. Good for you and good luck. And uh, North Quincy High School, Caitlin, how about you? I'm also a sophomore, so I have a couple of years to figure it out. Uh, but right now, I'm hoping to attend a college in the Northeast with a strong criminal justice or liberal arts program. Nice. How about you, Jenny? So uh, I'm the only senior on the team, so uh, <laughs> I kind of already uh, I know that I'm going to be college in the fall, and I will, I'm going to be planning on studying history. All right. John Thomas, what are your plans after high school? I hope to go to college and pursue filmmaking. 
Uh, oh, nice. Dominique? Uh, after high school, I will go to college, most likely studying computer science, but I'm really passionate about space and would love to be a part of future space exploration. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, nicely said. Listen, we've got to get into the next round, so we are going head to head. <laughs> As a reminder, in this round, correct answers will add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers result in a 10-point deduction. And if a player does not provide an answer, there is no impact on the score. So, teams, if you're ready, here we go. Good luck. What literary detective lives at 221B Baker Street, London? Is it Hercule Poirot or Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes. Uh, the Dole Pineapple Plantation is a popular tourist attraction in what U.S. state, Hawaii or Florida? <phone rings> Hawaii. What character from Star Wars is fluent in over six million languages, C-3PO or R2-D2? <phone rings> C-3PO. What North American mountain range contains the Continental Divide? Is it the Rockies or the Appalachians? <phone rings> the Rockies. Linen and linseed oil are both made from what plant? Hemp or flax? Flax. What author has sold over 350 million copies of his horror series, Goosebumps? Is it Stephen King or R.L. Stein? R.L. Stein. According to the U.S. Geological Service, which state is most prone to earthquakes, Alaska or California? Alaska. In both population and land area, what was the largest empire in the history of humanity? British Empire or Roman Empire? British Empire is the answer there. And that's the end of the round. Now we take a look at the score. Boston Land School, 480 points. North Quincy High School, 370 points. This is a good semifinal. Let's hear it from both teams. Next up is the category round with the following categories. Director's Cut, Euclid's On the Block, March Madness, Famous Freds, For Your Eyes Only, and We Deliver. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Once a team selects a category, they will be asked all five questions. Right answers will add points. Wrong answers will deduct points from the team's total. A decision to not answer will not impact the team's score. Once per category, the team can also choose to toss a question to the opposing team. A tossed question must be answered, and in this specific case, a no answer is the same as a wrong answer. Now, each team will complete two full categories, yes, they can confer, and we'll have 10 seconds to answer each question. We'll need a spokesperson from each team, Boston Latin School. Who is it going to be? Ethan, the spokesperson, North Quincy High. Who is it? It'll be Jenny this time. Okay, so here's the deal. North Quincy High, you have a little ground to make up. But you do get to choose the first category, so what's it going to be? Let's go. Uh, guys, I like Euclid on the block. What do you think? Yeah, agreed. How about director's cut? Yeah, I'm down with director's cut. Jenny, we'll need a category. Um, okay, director's cut. Director's cut. Questions about film directors. For 10 points, what director of Get Out took audiences and critics by surprise by making racism the central focus of a horror film? Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. yes. Jordan Peele. Okay. Our final answer is Jordan Peele. And that is correct for 10 points. Now for 15 points, what iconic director twice won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay for Pulp Fiction and for Django Unchained? Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino? Is no, no. Yeah. No, Quentin with a Q. Oh, Quentin, Quentin Tarantino. Okay. Quentin Tarantino. Our final answer is Quentin Tarantino. 
Quentin Tarantino is the correct answer now for 20 points. In 1956, while promoting his film The Man Who Knew Too Much, what master of suspense famously said, drama is life with the dull bits cut out. Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock? Yes. Okay, our final answer is Alfred Hitchcock. And that is correct for 20 points. Now for 25 points. What director of 2017's Wonder Woman signed a reported $9 million deal to direct the Wonder Woman sequel, making her the highest paid female director of all time? Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins. Yes. Okay, our final answer is Patty Jenkins. And that is correct for 25 points. Now for 30 points. Who was just 25 years old when he directed, co-wrote, and starred in Citizen Kane, which according to the American Film Institute is the greatest American film of all time? Orson Welles. Orson Welles. Yes. Our final answer is Orson Welles. And that is correct for 30 points. Now we go to Boston Latin School. I'll need a category. Let's take Euclid. Um, I'm feeling yeah. March Madness. What about no, 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 let's take. Do you want to do Euclid first? It could be yeah, questions. Let's yeah, let's Euclid take Euclid. First. Let's do Euclid. You sure? Okay. Uh, yes. We'll go with okay. Euclid's on the block. Euclid's on the block questions about geometry for 10 points. The Pythagorean theorem is commonly expressed as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which letter represents the hypotenuse? C. 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 Final answer is C. And that's correct for 10. Now for 15 points. The three internal angles of a triangle always add up to how many degrees? 180. 180. 180. Yep. Final answer, 180. And that's correct for 20 points. What type of angle has a measurement of greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees? Reflex. Obtuse. 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 Oh, well, Obtuse. Yeah, more than 180. yeah, yeah, yeah. Obtuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Final answer, obtuse. Obtuse angle is correct for 25 points. The mathematical constant pi is commonly expressed in decimal form as 3.14 or as what rational fraction? 22 over 7. 22, 22 over 7. Yeah. 22 over 7, you said? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Final answer, 22 over 7. And that is correct. Now, for 30 points, more than 2,000 years ago, the Greek mathematician Euclid wrote about geometry and other branches of math in what famous series of 13 books? The, oh, God. It's like the elements or something, right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go for it. Sure. Go All right. Final answer, the elements. Elements is correct for 30 points. And now back to North Quincy High School. Category, please. Famous uh, Freds. Yeah, Famous Freds. Yeah. What's it going to be, Jenny? Okay. Our, uh, our category is Famous Freds. Famous Freds. Questions about men named Fred. For 10 points, the star of the first primetime animated show on TV, what character is known for his iconic catchphrase, Yabba Dabba Doo? Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone? Okay. Yes. Uh, our final answer is Fred Flintstone. And Fred Flintstone is the correct answer now for 15 points. Famous for his on-screen partnership with Ginger Rogers in the 1930s, who revolutionized the movie musical by simplifying dance sequences and insisting dancers be shot in full figure. Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Oh, said. Okay, final answer, Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire is the correct answer now for 20 points. What Saturday Night Live alum stars in Portlandia and Documentary Now and also plays in the house band on Late Night with Seth Meyers? Fred Armisen. Fred Armisen. Yes. Okay, final answer, Fred Armisen. Fred Armisen is the correct answer for 25 points. In 1969, what children's TV host testified before a U.S. Senate subcommittee in defense of nationally funded public broadcasting, which helped save the life of PBS? Fred Rogers. Fred Rogers. Yes. Okay, final answer, Fred Rogers. And that's correct for 25 points. Now for 30 points prior to Andy Murray in 2013, who was the last British player to win the men's Wimbledon championship in 1936? Is anyone, anyone? Know? Um, I'll need an answer, Jenny. Fred Perry? 
Fred Perry. Oh, go. Okay, Fred Perry's yeah. our answer. And Fred Perry is the correct answer for 30 points. And now we move back to Boston Latin School. Category, guys. Are we taking March events? Oh, Are we sure it's not going to be Madness. about like questions about March events? <laughs> I, I think I we'll mean... go with it. Okay, okay. All right. let's do it. Uh, we're going to go with March Madness. March Madness, questions about the novel Little Women. <laughs> For 10 points, Louisa May Alcott grew up in what Massachusetts town that is the model for the setting in Little Women? Well, is it Concord? I yeah. It's Concord. All that right. Is. Final answer, Concord. Concord is right for 10 points. Now for 15 points. The March girls call their mother by what oddly memorable name? It's Mamie. Okay. All right. Final answer, Mamie. Mamie. No, Marmy, Marmy is Marmy. the correct answer. Close, but no. And now for 20 points, Little Women has been adapted for film six times, most recently in 2019 by what Oscar-nominated filmmaker who also directed Lady Bird? Greta, Greta Gerwig. Gerwig. Yep, Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig? Yep. Yeah. Final answer, Greta Gerwig. And Greta Gerwig is a correct answer for 20 points, now for 25 points. Oh, Joe, how could you? You're one beauty. Amy says this after Joe sells what for $25? Her hair. Oh, right. All right. Okay, okay. yeah. Sorry. Final answer, her hair. Her hair is the correct answer, now for 30 points. Like Alcott's own sister Lizzie, Beth contracts what bacterial illness characterized by a bright red rash? Scarlet fever, right? I think. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Final answer, scarlet fever. And scarlet fever is the correct answer for 30 uh, points. And that's the bell ending the category round. The score right now, Boston Latin School, 650 points. North Quincy High, 570 points. This is a close semifinal. Great job, team. <laughs> Okay, we are headed into the final round of play. It is the lightning round. All players on both teams are active and with the correct answer can add 20 points to their team's total. An incorrect answer will cost 20 points and a decision not to answer will not impact the score. Uh, there will be 10 questions and teams, if you're ready, here comes the lightning round. What country is known as the land of the rising sun, China or Japan? Japan. What is the world's largest retailer by total revenues, Walmart or Amazon? Walmart. What country overthrew its Shah during the Islamic Revolution of 1979, Iran or Iraq? Iran. In 2013, Russia defied the United States by granting temporary asylum to what NSA whistleblower? Julian Assange or Edward Snowden? Edward Snowden. Ernest Hemingway's novel, A Farewell to Arms, is set during what war? World War I or World War II? World War I. Approximately 70% of the universe is which of the following? Dark energy or dark matter? Dark energy. With five wins to date, what nation has won the most World Cup titles in men's soccer? Germany or Brazil? Brazil. The Taj Mahal is located in what Indian city? Jaipur or Agra? Agra. Tiana, Disney's first black princess, was created for what 2009 film? Was it Brave or The Princess and the Frog? Uh, the Princess and the Frog. Uh, the Lewis dot structure of carbon has uh, how many dots? Four or six? Four is the answer there. And that's the bell, the winning team this week, Boston Latin School, with a final score of 810 points at North Quincy High, a total score. 750 points. Congratulations to both teams. That was a great semifinal match. So Boston Latin School now will advance to the final where they'll play the winner of the match between AMSA and Belmont High School. But stay right where you are because 
That semifinal match is coming up next. And don't forget, you can always play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. We'll be right back. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. People take a lot of selfies, even after a fender bender. With Safety's Quick Estimate program, you can use the self-service process to get an appraisal, helping your car to be repaired. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stands strong and does not stay silent when times get tough good speaks up join us for good this is what it sounds like. additional funding is provided by the museum of science the museum of science trekking around the arctic has never been easier you can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in arctic adventure exploring with technology on exhibit now only at the museum of science more at mos.org 